Hello everyone, I'm making this video to show you another handful of Witcher 3 easter eggs in Cyberpunk. This is actually the fourth such video I make, so if you've missed any of the previous three, feel free to check the link to the playlist down in the description. Before we begin though, I gotta warn you that this video may contain the tiniest of spoilers, nothing major, but still. At number one, we start with a weapon that is possibly easier to find in Cyberpunk than it is in The Witcher 3 and it is the Caretaker's Shovel, actually called the Caretaker's Spade. For those of you who don't know, it drops from the Caretaker boss in Hearts of Stone, Damn. not from his body directly, but rather it falls near him and you have to pick it up. Well, during one of the endings of Cyberpunk, namely the one with Rogue and Johnny, you stumble upon the exact same item. It's not hard to miss at all, since Rogue will ask you to follow her and she'll park herself right next to it. It has a rather cute and thematic description, and while I don't think it heals you as it does in The Witcher 3, it sometimes displays a very similar visual effect. Its level requirement is 20, which is not that high, so you can actually speed through the main story to get it fast and then do some side content with it if you wish. I gotta say I still prefer the Witcher 3 version, but it's nice to have it here as well. Alright, number two is about the Cyber Psycho sighting at the Seaside Cafe. That's almost a tongue twister right there. Anyway, once you deal with the psychotic woman, you find a note on her body a message, rather, from her own sister, who apparently forced her to get some nasty implants installed as revenge for ruining her wedding. There's also a reference to the street ad which shows up very often, but what's interesting is the opening, which is a very clear reference to Ithleen's prophecy from the Witcher books. It goes something like this, the era of the sword and axe is nigh, the era of the wolf's blizzard. The time of the white frost and the white light, the time of madness and the time of contempt. Okay, for the third, which is not actually the last one because I'll mention a few more things that may or may not be easter eggs, but anyway, this one is the Skippy Gun. It's a smart weapon that can be found over here and it speaks to you. Name, Skippy. <laughs> Skippy, seriously. Increasing volume by 66%. Name. I'm not deaf! It can be quite funny, actually. It will speak when you encounter enemies, when you kill them, when you just pull it out, when it detects ammo, I think, and so on. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be <laughs> what, dum, what are you doing? I'm making the wait more pleasant with a soothing melody. But one of its lines is a quote from Geralt of Rivia. Specifically, when you engage in combat, it will sometimes say, what now, you piece of filth? What now, you piece of filth? It can be a little hard to hear. Uh, I tried disabling all sounds other than the voice, so you can hear it better. What now, you piece of filth? Now, I can't actually confirm if this is available if you activate its peaceful puppy mode. It happened in headshot mode for me, so that may or may not be a requirement. Perhaps some of you will comment down below. Adjusting settings. Bum, bum, be dum, bum, bum, be dum, bum. Ugh. Okay, finally, I'd like to mention several things that you guys wrote to me about, which I either haven't found or didn't think much of initially. The first one is Wayland's headgear. Fucking Christ! It looks quite similar to what the witch hunters are wearing in The Witcher 3, especially with that part that goes over the nose. Initially, I didn't think it's a Witcher reference because I assumed that both of these are inspired by a piece of real-world clothing from some time or place in history, but I could be wrong about that. The second thing are actually three trash items. So, three people independently wrote to me that they found a trash item referencing The Witcher 3. One person said that they found a crystal raven skull pendant, which would be a Yennefer easter egg, Another claimed they found a deck of Gwent cards, and the third that they found Triss's earrings. Your earring, am I right? Wait a second. Yes. Lost it years ago. Where did you find it? Kaer Morin, in a bed. 
You know the one. Ah, yes. The good old days. Now I have looted two or three different card decks, but neither of them is Gwent, and I haven't noticed any earrings or raven skulls yet. Luckily though, two of these three people showed me screenshots of what they found. First off, the earrings, they do look similar to the ones Triss is wearing, however they are rectangular and Triss's are triangular, so I'm not sure if that's an actual easter egg. The raven skull pendant, however, could definitely be a small nod to Yennefer and the intro of The Witcher 3. As for the Gwent deck, like I said, I didn't get any screenshots, so I can't even confirm that it exists. If any of you guys have seen it, feel free to let us know down below. Okay, another thing several people told me about is that Zuleika, the lady from the Sinner quest, is likely a reference to the woman with the same name in the Witcher books. Zuleika? You're late. I found a companion along the way. I'm not sure about that, because this is an actual real-world name, and it may just be a coincidence, but I suppose it could be inspired by the books as well, especially since one of the prominent character traits of both of these women is that they are religious. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God, Amen. Zuleika is the sister of the man I killed. Oh, and someone also told me that they thought the Odikin whiskey bottle reminds them of Odim's endless bottle. Tell me what reward you've chosen. An endless supply of vodka. <laughs> now there's a wish I understand. But that may be stretching it too much. And there were a few more things, but I think those are definitely not Witcher 3 easter eggs, so I will not be mentioning them here. Perhaps I could make a 10 things you thought are Witcher 3 easter eggs, but really aren't video but uh, maybe some other time. Oh, and one more thing before I let you go. Not really an easter egg, but rather a similarity between The Witcher 2 and Cyberpunk. Specifically that CD Projekt Red decided to use the same Chopin piece in both The Witcher 2's trailer and the music Hanako plays right before the ending. Anyway, I think that's all I had for today. Thank you very much for watching and for your support. Um, if you think of anything I haven't mentioned yet in these videos, let me know in the comments. And if not, until the next one, stay tuned and be good.